Welcome back everyone and welcome to World of Worship and first thing is first today it's a very special day for the United States and from my bottom of my heart I would like to very much say to all of my subscribers in the United States Happy Thanksgiving Happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the United States and for the rest of the world who probably we celebrate with family I don't know about you guys but I very very much um, um, shall I say, I, I, I have good feelings and good thoughts, yes, thoughts, I'm missing the United States uh, turkey dinner, or should I say Thanksgiving, turkey with stuffing, yeah, I really remember really tasty dinner and all those, uh, you know, ingredients and all those stuffing it was just absolutely ridiculous good i highly re uh, recommend if you are going to united states on the thanksgiving yeah give this um, turkey dinner a try you might actually love it so guys i do very much like to uh, start with this lovely shit the Swedish destroyer Holland. It's actually one of my absolutely to go ship my favorite um, Ship in the entire game because it also has the best torpedo not because they're doing a lot of damage But you reload them very fast and they are the fastest I do honestly believe it was like 92 knots fast speed and it's the great the, the range is absolutely fantastic the dpm it's probably not the best and you do not have smoke you only have two guns but it's a lot of daka daka it's kind of a fast uh, on the other hand you do not want to fight all the ships this friendly tip have a, a failed division with york and uh, Minsk, which uh, both of them, they are division, of course, with Mogami, and uh, it's a tier 7. Normal cases should never face a tier 10 ship. Guys, the truth is, the tier 10 are way, I'm not talking about way, way, way more powerful with, with everything. So, uh, literally, guys, this team have a uh, disadvantage. However, also the enemy team had one Akizuki and Shiratsuyu, but both of them guys, the Shiratsuyu and especially Akizuki, they are pretty damn strong. I mean, they have such a good uh, armament and such a good DPM. They can definitely uh, defend themselves, especially the Akizuki. I'll go so far, even Haaland, it's a strong, if you're facing one versus now uh, one, I'm talking about uh, Holland versus Akizuki. I don't know 100% if you will not lose that battle. And Akizuki, it's a tier eight. And Holland <laughs> got this torpedo. You see, guys, you do not have bad things. Shall I say, DPM of those torpedo, and uh, they are very fast. However, oh, there's the Akizuki, and he inside the smoke, but over here, that's the uh, sad part about this ship. You only have one turret. Yes, if you don't have perfect angle, you cannot use your uh, guns, and you cannot use your torpedoes. The torpedo angle are kind of uh, pretty darn bad, and the guns are kind of uh, slow, and I kind of forgot to mention, we have a huge pressure watch, this awesome captain from... Uh, Germany and his name is Von Essen uh, yes so I honestly believe he, uh, in the replay he said that this is his second uh, battle ever in this particular ship but of course he had to play several uh, game games and battles in the tier 9 pan European destroyer uh, Öster Jutland uh, which is not a bad ship. It's a pretty damn uh, strong uh, torpedo boat as well with crazy good a but Haaland It's the top. He is the king. I'll go so far Haaland's AA It's the best in this uh, game by far. He even beats the damn Wooster and Minotaur and uh, Des Moines. Yes, you heard me right. This thing's uh, shoots down faster plane than the Des Moines. It is what it is guys. It is the cork of the pain European destroyer especially the tier 9 and tier 10 They are brutal strong 
and uh, yeah well very unfortunately we missed that torpedo wall there's a daring it's a very healthy tier 10 british uh, destroyer which jingles and many others youtubers said that it is one of the best torpedo uh, or should i say destroyers in this game i'm not saying it's a bad it's a good dpm it's a jack of all trade master of none which is not bad guys seriously the torpedo are not a joke and the smoke and the guns are pretty damn strong and of course you have this short smoke but you have a lot of them so in, in that regard it's kind of a hard to torpedo inside the smoke um shall i say um daring and because she also have hydro on the other hand, the Shiratsuyu and probably his teammates, and I'm talking about the Akizuki, is inside that smoke, I would bet. Nobody will see this, but... <laughs> torpedo. Guys, seriously, this is one of the best... Uh, torpedo killer versus destroyer with this... Torpedo wall. They are so darn fast. It's very hard to dodge. Oh man, Dashiratsu inside the smoke. I have no idea who someone his radar him, but I do believe he's going down. They played extremely poor. And yeah, the Alexander Nevsky radar him and of course. Yeah, the tier seven. They kinda forgot that the, the, the Alexander Nevsky and the Soviet cruiser they have 12 kilometers uh, range which basically means that yeah that's a good a very good a see if they can uh, manage to hit anything no so of course guys there the, the the downside with this ship is definitely the guns the guns are kind of lacking you have very cr crazy short range and they are kind of floaty so in reality i don't think this this ship it's a live ship it's a museum ship you can visit in and, and see it by yourself uh in port of gothenburg uh, i have no idea in in real life if this destroyer had such a bad damn uh, guns uh, like this game have i have no idea i'm talking about how the shell speed and stuff like that um, of course it's a big large um, sh uh, ship uh, destroyer and you know it's the downside is you don't have that great speed uh, without speed boost you are all right ish with t uh, speed boost but without speed boost you're kind of a slow and um, the downside is obvious that uh, you uh, have to show almost perfect broadside to send those torpedo because torpedo angle are kind of a crap Kansas moving slow and you can create a very good looking torpedo wall and most likely you'll hit couple of a torpedo and would I guess two Four torpedoes all oh, for the love of God five torpedoes and one flooding Now even the torp itself does not make a lot of damage but the sheer number of that torpedo and of course flooding and stuff like that makes this torpedo boat pretty damn fast and something else you reload extremely fast now i have no idea if that is a damn good idea to open up i would actually never open up not at this stage how is that on the right side it's the the the, 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 the cruiser there's a cruiser on on the other side and i have no idea why he does not open up Yoshino, Yoshino, it's on his, on his side, you know what I mean? Yeah, now he opened up. Oh man, this could actually go really darn bad. Yoshino can actually um, kill you. Has very good HE guns. And yeah. The aim is not that crazy good, actually, to be honest with you. But the torpedo are. Two torpedoes. <laughs> oh man this Yoshino man I have no idea okay that was a good hit he can definitely aim but man <laughs> okay that is the kill number three <laughs> 
95,000 uh, uh, damage, not bad, not bad, good, good, good play. The enemy team control almost, uh, uh, you know, Delta and Bravo, and uh, they have close to 300 points uh, ahead. So we, it is, uh, you know, I do honestly believe that on the other side, the uh, flank collapsed. So this team only have this ship, uh, Asashio, Kansas, and Alsace. Versus enemy Daring, Hindenburg, Bismarck, Tirpitz and Alsace, which is actually great news for the uh, player Yoshino. I do really like this captain's open up as soon as uh, he can. Now I should definitely not open up anymore, not open the fire. I'm talking about the guns. Yeah, he spotted. If you have a small hill, not a crazy badass hill, a regular hill. But there is the problem, it's the Bisma secondary can definitely chew, 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 you know, kill you. Now he make this cover. Yeah, and he cannot send those torpedo. You do often surprise people because your torpedo are so darn far away. I do believe it's 13.5 kilometers torpedo range. Or it's 15, I kind of forgot. But he, yeah, it, 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 it is very, very high. I do honestly believe it's more than 13.5 kilometers. I do honestly believe it's 15 kilometers or something like that. It's a ridiculous uh, good range and uh, the speed is fantastic. Even though they don't do a whole lot of damage, you can definitely surprise people that you're aim for a ship and then second one eats all the torps. You don't have to be that greedy. He was a little bit greedy here that the torpedo are kind of uh, slow. You can, oh, okay, there's the daring, very healthy daring. And he is uh, much more, uh, and remember he also has a heal. So he really has to land those torpedo. Oh man, but that torpedo looks absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it was meant to the Bismarck or something. Uh, or probably he just used it for a random because he has the RP probably was the RP definitely yes now if I can pay attention to a RP the the module uh, they've shown you the closest ship I could definitely tell that he using in um, uh, uh, earlier that yeah, he knew that the destroyer will come because otherwise the RP should uh, aim like this one, the closest target, what it is, it must be uh, Alsace. So you know, he already knows and stuff like that. Uh, but this combination, small heal, um, speed boost, A defense, and very fast. Uh, remember, if you have the jersey, the Polish super captain, every single eight torpedo hits you gain faster torpedo reload and same story if you shoot down some planes after a while you even sh are stronger plus 10 percent in a power and yeah it, it has a very special adrenaline rush uh, this jersey captain No, I'm not that fan to send one torpedo uh, to this Bismarck and one to the other one. How is that? You see, if you would drop both of them on the Bismarck and it would create a bigger wall, that it's the biggest problem with some um, uh, destroyer captains. They don't know, uh, they are a little bit greedy and want to use all the torpedo, but slightly angle or, you know, Using the rudder left and right, you might actually avoid the incoming torpedo. But you, if you can create a bigger torpedo wall, a little bit uh, half to the right and left to the left, I'm talking where the indicator is showing you, then you can create a way uh, bigger, w wider uh, torpedo wall, and then uh, always make sure that at least something will connect and probably cause uh, cause flooding. So. To be success successful in the torpedo dropped, you need to know your range. Oh man, this uh, this captain is crazy. He's only 6.2 kilometers away from Tirpitz, and he was uh, at very close to be spotted. He, the closest he was with that uh, Tirpitz was like 6.1. 
now he sent both of them very fast to the same now he has to pray a small pray that Tirpitz will not uh, speed away or stop the engine or use the rudder because yes the Tirpitz will uh, will be probably be sunk if he will just sail straight without any move whatsoever ah, if he eat so many torps he had 10 torpedoes he eat, of all 10 he eat 9 and he was pretty much a full HP or close to full you he, he was almost full HP uh, Tirpitz but the problem with Tirpitz he's a premium and you never know in that particular captain he probably does not even own a tier 5 ship let alone probably that's this is the only tier 8 ships he owns so you never know you know you don't put your money just because he playing in um, Tirpitz he knows how to not sail stretch because that it's a paddling <laughs> Asasio se sending some torpedoes but the problem with Asasio's guys is that those torpedoes are useless versus uh, cruiser and he open fire because what uh, what can he do the Asasio cannot torpedo him anymore um, so what I'm trying to say that Asasio's torpedo are great nice very long range and stuff like that but it's only effect versus um, battleships and aircraft carrier uh, so of course that is the downside there's three minutes left and the friendly team co control Alpha, Bravo and and, and uh, Charlie. On the other hand guys, the Hindenburg is trying to cap A. Asasio using some guns to reset that it's a good thing. If he can hit him, that's the problem. And Hindenburg is... He's... He's not a fool now over here i have no idea what's the smartest thing to do you don't want to uh, let him to cap and there's only two destroyers left and yeah it's a uh, The, how many kills does the uh, Asasio? Three kills and this uh, this uh, captain, five kills. Now the the tricky uh, part about the Hindenburg it's actually the fast reload of the guns and uh, you may argue why this captain does not open fire. But th the thing is, guys, that Hindenburg can actually kill you in one or two salvos if you have a 3500 hp pool um, i'm talking about your hp pool overall if you are a destroyer the hindenburg guns it's not a joke i will uh, say that it's one of the most accurate and most uh, uh, very high penetration guns and you do in many ways it's more dangerous to uh, to face if you are destroy a Hindenburg than a Zhao. Yes, Zhao has higher alpha damage, but the problem is with Zhao, you, you reload your the stupid guns of 15, close to 16 kilometers range, and with Hindenburg, you, if you have a badass captain, you can reload them then around 9 seconds, so that it's a huge damn difference, or 8.8 .8 seconds, so, uh, and you have uh, same amount of uh, firepower and damage so I very much like to say that a Zhao can um, do high damage each and every salvo but him the Berg will kill a destroyer way way faster thanks he's much much higher DPM and of course you kind of forgot Hindenburg has one of the best uh, hydro in the entire game so yeah he was a smart player there, he was just make sure to win this battle. And it was 191,000 damage done, 21 torpedo hits, 5 kills, 6 fires, uh, 6 flooding and helping catch. And of course he received the Confederate, Devastrating Strike, High Caliber, uh, Kraken Unleash and Dreadnought in a Destroyer. So guys, thanks guys for watching and always Captain's Fair Seas and goodbye.